Hey everyone, Emily from Bob's Watches. Welcome to another video guide. Today we're talking all about Rolex ownership and the things you should be doing to properly care for your watch. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Rolex watches are designed and built to last a lifetime. However, just like anything else, properly caring for your watch is an important part of ownership. While actual service and repair should only be done by trained professionals, there are still things that you can do as an owner to ensure that your Rolex stays in top shape, both inside and out. Despite the fact that most Rolex watches feature self-winding movements, everyone that owns a Rolex should still know how to manually wind it. Rolex watches can either have standard push-pull or screw-down winding crowns. However, despite this difference, all Rolex watches are manually wound the same way. For watches with standard crowns, simply leave the crown in its fully pushed in position and rotate the winding crown away from you and towards the 12 o'clock location. If your watch has a manual wind movement, you will reach a natural stopping point once the main spring is fully wound. It is important to not force it past this point, otherwise you risk damaging the movement. If your watch is one of Rolex's self-winding perpetual models, you will never reach a natural stopping point. However, there is also no way to overwind your watch. Should you have one of Rolex's perpetual movements, simply count about 40 rotations and your watch will be fully wound. For Rolex watches with screw down crowns, the winding process is exactly the same, but the crown must first be unscrewed from the case before a manual winding or setting can occur. To unscrew the crown, simply turn it counterclockwise until it is completely free from the threads that secure it. There is no need to pull the crown out at all. The natural position that it will pop into once fully unscrewed is the correct one for manual winding. Additionally, for watches with screw down crowns, it is important to remember to re-screw the crown back down to the case once you're done winding your watch. This ensures that it will stay properly sealed against moisture and dirt. Addressing anything to do with the mechanics or inside of your watch will require the assistance of a professional. However, from time to time, you may find it necessary to clean the outside of your Rolex. You can always wipe down your watch with a cloth as a way to easily maintain its luster, but it is important to use the right type of material, such as a microfiber cloth that will not scratch your watch's finish. For more thorough cleaning, you can also use soapy water and a soft brush to clean the case and bracelet of your watch. Additionally, anytime you wear your watch in the ocean, it is important to rinse it off with fresh water afterwards to remove any leftover salt, sand, and debris that may still be stuck to it. With that in mind, this should only be done with Rolex watches that feature the brand's waterproof oyster cases. And even then, it is important to make sure that the winding crown is fully screwed down against the case so that moisture does not enter the watch. You can also take the bracelet off your Rolex to make it easier to clean. We have a whole separate tutorial video for how to do this, so be sure to check that out if you're unsure of how to remove your Rolex bracelet. Lastly, for vintage Rolex watches with acrylic crystals, you can actually remove light surface scratches at home, rather than requiring a crystal replacement every time you get a scuff on it. While acrylic is significantly less scratch resistant than sapphire, it can be easily repaired using nothing more than a soft cloth and some polishing compound, such as Polywatch. To do this, simply put a small dot of polish on your crystal, and then apply pressure while rubbing it with a clean, soft cloth for about two to three minutes. You can repeat this process as necessary to remove more severe scratches. While this will only work for light scratches and scuffs, it is a quick and easy way to maintain the appearance of your watch that does not require any specialized knowledge or tools. As far as servicing your Rolex, this is 100% not something you can do at home. While it is relatively easy to fix a lawnmower engine or change the oil on a car, a high-end mechanical watch movement is entirely different, and properly servicing it requires extensive training, specialized equipment, and access to genuine replacement components from the manufacturer. Proper service of a watch involves the complete disassembly of both the watch and movement, thorough cleaning of all parts, replacement of worn components as needed, reapplication of lubricants, reassembly, timing calibration, and surface refinishing to the external components of the watch, you know, if desired. Additionally, a number of post-service tests are also required to ensure that the watch is running inside its manufacturer's specifications and that its case is properly sealed against moisture and dust. For modern watches, Rolex recommends a full service about every 10 years or so. Older watches may require more frequent service to keep them running within their same specifications. And should you ever notice any mechanical problems or issues with your watch, it is always best to immediately have the issue addressed by a professional watchmaker to minimize any potential damage. 
Not all professional watchmakers can service Rolex watches, and even those that know how to service them may still be unable to do it properly due to being unable to purchase genuine replacement components from Rolex. Just like anything else mechanical, certain components of a watch will wear over the years and will require replacement at one point or another. This is especially true for the rubber gaskets that sit between the parts of the case, which create a seal against moisture and dirt. Rolex keeps an incredibly tight control over its parts, and they will not sell components to just anyone. Only authorized service providers are able to order parts from Rolex, so it is crucial that you have your watch serviced by a certified watchmaker with a Rolex parts account. Even still, there are certain components that Rolex will not sell to independent watchmakers, so heavily damaged timepieces will need to go directly to Rolex for repairs and service. As far as how often you should be wearing your Rolex, you're free to wear it as often as you'd like. Rolex watches are built to incredibly high standards and were designed to be worn every day. In fact, your watch actually needs to be worn in order for its movement to be able to wind itself. The average Rolex watch has a power reserve between 48 and 72 hours. This means that once it is fully wound, it will run autonomously for that amount of time. As you wear your watch, the natural motion of your arm spins an internal rotor, which in turn winds the watch and tops off its power reserve. However, should you not wear your Rolex for more than a day or two, there is a pretty good chance that it may be stopped by the next time you go to pick it up. It is completely okay to let your watch stop. However, it is just as important to remember that when you go to wear your watch next, you may need to reset the time or date, and its power reserve will be entirely depleted. If your Rolex has stopped running, it is recommended to first manually wind it before you start wearing it in order to fully resupply tension to the mainspring. Not doing this will in no way damage your watch, but manually winding it will ensure optimal timekeeping performance and guarantee that it will not come to a stop while on your wrist. For those that frequently may not wear their Rolex for multiple days at a time, the use of an automatic watch winder is an excellent option that eliminates the need to wind and reset your watch. Watch winders are motorized watch boxes that use a timer to periodically rotate the watch. This motion allows the automatic winding mechanism to engage, enabling the watch to wind itself. Watch winders will only work for Rolex models with self-winding perpetual movements. However, when properly configured, a winder will keep your watch fully wound and running, regardless of how much time it spends on your wrist. With that in mind, if you wear your Rolex every day, the natural motion it receives should be enough to ensure that it stays wound until the next morning. However, for those with multiple watches, winders are the perfect way to make your mornings more convenient and completely eliminate the winding and resetting process. Knowing how to properly care for your Rolex is an important part of ownership. Not only will it ensure that your watch stays in tip-top shape for the rest of your life, but it will also help guarantee that it stays running so that it can faithfully serve the next generation. For more tips on how to care for your Rolex, be sure to check out our official Rolex Owner's Manual Guide, and you can find the link for that in our description below. Thanks for watching our Rolex Owner's Manual video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest video content.